Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bezontic and welcome back to a really, really different video on my channel, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to make a very own YouTube gaming logo like this, guys. And now you can see you guys, it's a nice basic logo, but it can make your YouTube channel look a thousand times better. Now, if you don't want to actually do this, guys, and you just want a template of this, if you drop 15 likes on this video, I'll put a link and download in the description down below. You guys can go over, download this, and just change it yourself. Now, if you guys actually want to make a change to this, or you make even make your own, guys i'm going to be showing you on how to do this in this video guys so if you got on photoshop you want to press on ctrl n i'm pretty sure a lot of you know how to do that if you don't guys you can go over to file and click on new and make sure you have the exact same settings in here and click on copy on ok and once you do this guys you want to actually simply change this background color to black to so do that so all you want to do is press on alt and backspace and as you can see very simple as that now the next thing you guys you want to actually actually want to Find the image you want off the internet, so I'm going to be using this GFX pack, so if I scroll down, I'm going to be using the one I just showed you in this example, so if I click on this, and you can drag and drop this in as well. Now once we've got this in here guys, you can actually resize it by pressing on Ctrl T, and you can resize it to any size you want. I'm just going to be leaving it on this because I think the bigger it is the better it looks. So let me just kind of get this guy in the middle of his shot here guys. So this is an Infinity Warfare logo this actually is as well. So once we've got it in here guys, we're going to make a few effects to it. So if we change this to normal and we change this to luminosity, we get a black and white effect. We're also going to be adding some colour corrections onto it. So if we over go over here and change the brightness and contrast, you can adjust it to your own like and I think I'm going to go with this. You can even copy my settings if you want by pausing the video. We're also going to be adding uh, some curves onto it as well so we just do this quickly this little effect here like that one and we're also going to add some exposure onto it as well guys so just change this to the settings make sure you want to change it to the ones you want also doesn't copy me if you don't like it just put it to whatever you want you want i'm going to be using this example and i'll be using this here so guys but just make sure you just do this you don't actually have to do it i just think it makes a lot more better now once we've done this guys we're actually going to add a new layer and we're going to go over to our paintbrush tool so let me just get this here and we're going to change the colour to this and we're going to make it a nice blue just like in the photo. You guys can choose any colour you want, I was going to be using this for this example. So if I do this and what you want to do is press Ctrl minus and get away from that. So what we want to do guys is basically just kind of paint in what we want. Make sure your, salt, your hardness is on 0% as well guys, I forgot to mention that. So I think that looks pretty nice so far so let me just change the uh, over here and change that to color dodge and change the opacity down a bit to make it look more better so i think that looks pretty decent so far as well we're also going to make a new layer so just press that button down here and change the color to white because if white makes it an actual kind of glow effect so as you can see here we put this here and we can put this at the top as well and just simply just change that opacity down guys you don't actually need to change that to color dodge you can just simply change the opacity down to whichever you only want and I think that looks pretty decent so far guys. So what we're going to do now is actually add a gradient map. So let's just add a gradient map right in as well. So make sure you do click on this and you want to click on gradient map. Second one from the bottom and it's going to make it above this layer as well. So make sure it's below the actual paintbrush one you made right there. So the gradient map default is going to look like this. So I'm going to just double click on the white and I'm going to make a brand new black one. So I'm going to change this to black and double click on the white circle down here, no square sorry, <laughs> and just change that to any colour you want. So I'm going to make it a nice blue effect again guys, and as you can see if I press OK it does look like this, which we don't actually want it to look like that, so if I change the opacity down again, so I'll change it to about, change it to this, I think that looks pretty decent as well. So once we've done that guys, we're actually all good to go over here, so let me just actually add a new layer and we'll add some text into it, so let me just do this. And I will change this to be Zontic, so I spelled it completely wrong there. And I've done it again, so be Zontic. So I can just change it in here as well. And we can actually fit that in the middle of our screen, guys. So we've got a nice little actual thing here, and I'll be showing you guys on how to actually add the rectangles as well. So we click on the rectangle tool, and we just simply make it any size you want. So I'm just going to use this example. And you want to press Ctrl and J to actually duplicate it as well, and use your arrow keys to move it up here as well. I'll be showing you guys on how to actually edit the text as well. So once you get it up here, guys, I think this looks pretty decent so far. If we go over to the Bizontic, right click, go over to Blending Options. And as you can see, you guys, we can add some stroke effect to it, which I don't recommend you actually do, they look quite horrible. But we can actually add some gradient overlays to it as well, so we can just change that down a bit right here. 
like so and we can actually add a drop shadow onto it if you guys want to do that as well it's completely up to you guys i'm just gonna be showing you some actual kind of tweaks you can actually do to make it a lot better as well so we can add some of this completely up to you guys but i'm actually just gonna leave it on default just for this video guys but if you did enjoy this video today guys make sure you do drop a like if we have 15 likes i'll actually put the actual template down here which one i made here i'll put that down below in the description you guys can go download it and just change your text if you want to edit it you just change your text and just put in bizon text so just put that for example click on that click file save you're done guys but anyway guys my name is bizon i hope you have a wonderful day my name is bizon have a nice day guys and i'll see your face in my next video thanks for watching guys and take care bye bye